Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the Makana Man at YouTube with another event review. As always, around November, I head off to Werribee at the B24 Liberator Restoration Project, being hosted by the Bayonet Military Model Club. Their annual show, which is a fundraiser and gathering for this fantastic cause and aeroplane. Our Club Mecca workshop has relocated to a site in Altona, making us quite local to this particular area. We decided to go down in numbers and host a small traders table to hawk off some of the stuff that we have in our stash that's unwanted. It was a fun and uh, pleasant experience. Next time we'll definitely increase in numbers. Just for an overview for those who haven't seen my previous videos on this event, this uh, hangar has the sole purpose of restoring this World War II bomber to its flying former glory and being able to taxi it and display it in a museum. This is a serious workshop with tools and machinery all over the place with a miniature museum of their own hosting some artifacts from the Pacific War. The appeal and interest in hosting this uh, competition at this site, even though the lighting and location is not exactly ideal and the place is quite uh, cluttered and slightly dirty, you are around the actual history, a uh, period hangout with the um, aircraft live work in progress among you. It is somewhat like building a model kit but uh, going for the real thing, of course, a community effort. Being around this sort of thing really livens up the community and is just fantastic in a swap cell competition friendly atmosphere good fun. The swap and sell was the real highlight of this event and almost the lifeblood which has outgrown the competition. Tables go around very cheap at $10 and individuals thinning their aging stock, small online businesses going at a business and small hobby businesses like casters or importers get together and trade kits at reasonably or extremely cheap ridiculous prices. Uh, one of the guys was selling a real grade RX-78 for three dollars not knowing what it is so you can pick up amazing bargains. Myself, a couple of Matchbox 72nd kits and interesting resin pieces at ten dollars a pop. One particularly amazing gentleman or group creates their own 20 mil scale resin tanks around the World War II period and has produced almost five, sorry, 600 kits in a period of five years, selling them between $10 $15, home cast, hand sculpted. Absolutely amazing feats. I own two of their kits and I bought another two and will be building and reviewing them as a local source of models among the community. Fantastic effort. Another interesting site, someone brought an entire collection of original, very good condition frog aircraft kits. Uh, looks like almost each piece is there, though the asking price was for two grand, not willing to break up. Not sure if this is a fair call or not, but a uh, very interesting spectacle. Now, jumping into the competition part, the bit of the show that everyone rocks up to, plays a kit, looks at a kit, and uh, win a couple of trophies. Now, this is a very well-known competition and well advertised within the community for a long time and even though numbers or amount of kits has slipped down from past, the quality is really up there from juniors to seniors. Normally a lot of uh, regular faces that attend the uh, Model Expo, some work we've um, already seen and also some very new work. Uh, fantastic ambitious projects of uh, big warbirds, very well weathered armors and fantastic 
absolutely wonderful uh, paintwork. Some of them, um, I invited uh, Ghost of Zeon to come down, have a look and uh, join us. We were discussing and looking at some kits and very impressed in the technique of the uh, paintwork, commenting, discussing, figuring out what exact techniques and styles were used into each of these models. Uh, definitely a fantastic experience and uh, one of the highlights that I definitely enjoy every year uh, taking photos and covering this event. Now while this uh, slideshow of uh, fantastic work goes past, I'll have a talk about other uh, occurrences uh, throughout the show. Having uh, the club with me, uh, of course some passing people that are uh, friends plus our Ghost of Xeon. It was definitely a fantastic uh, social experience getting together and just chatting about some of the community and what each other's been up to. But uh, the haul and the bits and pieces that I bought, uh, almost 100 bucks worth, was uh, really, really great. I did not expect to spend that much money or acquire that m many items, though I picked up 10 armor uh, between 72nd and 76th scale and uh, decals. Half of them are either cold cast or resin, the other half styrene, very old, uh, matchbox, and uh, Fujimi strange subjects. With the anime girls and panza on my mind, and of course uh, always digging English and Russian armor, I wanted a Sherman Firefly more than anything. Um, I was actually hoping to see one, but it was too ambitious in my thoughts that one would come past and scored the uh, Matchbox kit. A very, very rare find. Great price. Uh, granted, not a very accurate representation of the uh, actual tank of the period, though acquiring something to decal and paint is uh, definitely a joy. The rest are very heavy uh, Russian stuff and the uh, resin is mostly covering English uh, early war subjects. Now for a little encouragement for those engaging or challenging your local military or IPMS communities. Uh, our small group, uh, including Ghost of Xeon and the Mecha Workshop, has been attending and uh, showing off our stuff at these events for many years now and uh, we're generally embraced and quite close now. We uh, entered in the uh, competition and uh, among all of our kits I felt it was very fairly uh, judged even though uh, a lot of the works were very vastly uh, different and not necessarily targeted as tanks. Uh, this pleased me quite a bit. Note the Zeta piece that's half destroyed and draped over the scaffolding is a Ghost of Xeon's latest work. Uh, my pieces are five kits. Uh, the three Gundam subjects are very new to my collection the Marasai, the Arak 78 for the Gundam Forum group build, and the custom Zaku 2 in all our clad colours, uh, the Shin Matsunaga custom. I uh, put a lot of work in these uh, post uh, the Bandai World Cup and definitely good fun. The military kits of course are Hotchkiss and Girls and Panzer Mouse. Unfortunately, I had to leave the competition uh, and venue very early. I was doing a night shift at uh, work. Uh, shit me off beyond all belief. But uh, I was pointed out and very glad I came third in the fantasy category for the Marasai. Uh, all in all, uh, wheeling away my uh, many treasures and not selling awful lots on our table but definitely a great social experience and a very fun weekend had by the entire crew, myself and Ghost of Xeon. Thank you very much for watching and of course till next time this event will be covered in years to come and more content coming to you. See you later.